Welcome back to Survival, everybody, episode 20. <laughs> Moving right along here. In the previous episode, we went ahead and cut all these trees down. We rented a, well, it's a unit that goes on the back of a tractor. We, unfortunately, we couldn't use this tractor as it's too small on horsepower. But we rented a class, got the job done. Now we just got to get all these picked up. The implement place was so kind to let us uh, borrow their wheel loader. Which is becoming very handy to fill this thing up to get this as full as we can. Making some good money on these trips. Just running her right down to the carpentry place. Making some good money on this. See what we get. This is probably our biggest load, I think. Again, this is a little overkill for this tractor. But it works. Here we go. Where's the... Oh yeah, right here. All right, here we go. Let's see what we get. Oop, four thousand there. What's going on? And hopefully this will work. Maybe they're full. I think we actually have to wait for them to. Oh, this could be a problem. I think that's the issue, but we can't see what's going on because we don't own the business. Cost 40000 to buy. We ain't there yet. I don't know if I want to actually buy that anyway because we're not really going to do too much more wood after we get these clear cutting done. I wonder if it'd be interesting to buy this firewood production. It's 40000 as well, but it'd be kind of interesting to make the pallets of wood and then sell those. Where would those sell? I bet there's a spot over by the farmer's market. Let's check in here real quick. Yeah, right here. So we'd, we would bring it over here. That might not be a bad idea to do something like that. We get a little extra money. Um, Let's see what happens if we go in the trigger. If we can sell it right now as is. Because the carpentry is full. I never even thought that that could be an issue, but it's going to be an issue. And it's going to take them a while to process all that. And we got a lot of wood to sell. A lot of money to make up. Oh, what's this one in front here? This is a different business in front. It's another buying point. Because there's a drop off here too. Or is that for wood chips? I'm so confused. We might try that on the next load if this, if this takes it over here. But I'm curious to see if... This is where we put firewood in. For this business. Alright, is there a... Yeah, there is right here. Oh no, that's the buying point. Oh no, there we go. 10,000. So that does work. But I'm sure that's going to fill up as well. But like I said, I think it might be worth doing buying the firewood business. Never planned to buy a business in this playthrough, but... For how much wood we have, it might not be a bad idea. We'll see if we can sell it here at the next load we have. That might be a direct sell point, because I don't see a trigger to sell. But typically, the firewood, you need to go to the exclamation mark to sell it. Alright. Let's see... Where's our next? We got so many piles around here. It's gonna take us some time to get all this loaded up. Guess we can go right here. Let's see what happens. I've been thinking about future plans for this area. And I think what would probably be good, I guess we should get the stuff in front of the trailer. Uh, definitely probably want to get some grassland and get some silage. I think we can get like a fermenting silo and then we can just use a forge wagon, put it all in there, then ferment it and then sell that. And then keep doing that. We make a good ton of money. But we'd have to drill the field, which would take some time. I got them all. 
But we're gonna have to get a... I probably just rent that other... We're gonna need a better tractor first. That's one of our top priorities, because a lot of stuff we're gonna need is higher horsepower. It's gonna be happening real soon. Let's see. This trailer's perfect for this. There we go. We got all kinds of stumps all over, so we gotta watch it. It's probably actually, even if I was to cheat and use super strength, this is probably still a better way of doing this, because you get so many in one grab. It can be kind of tricky to get them on there, but look at that, I got them all again. If you get them all, it actually works out pretty well. Another advantage of uh, cutting our wood with that cutter it puts all the wood like in a stack and it's so easy to grab with this thing. For the most part, I mean it's not always the easiest, but for the most, it doesn't do too bad actually. Alright, I think we got a good load here. Nice. Alright, we'll run this down. We'll see if we can sell at that other point. I'm not absolutely sure if that's a sell point. It, I mean, it looks like a sell point, but I don't know. There's no trigger for it. Strap these in. We'll head on down. It's absolutely hard to say if we would want to buy that firewood production. It would be nice to get extra money for the firewood and sell them at the farmer's market, but I just don't know how much wood cutting we're going to do. And it would take... Again, 40 grand just to make that money back. Let's see if this works here. Okay, that don't work. So we do have enough money to buy the firewood place, should we do it. So we're not going to be able to sell it here for a while. And I'm sure the firewood would fill up as well. Maybe we should go and just fill the firewood up until it's full. We can double, uh... Double dip, if they say. Because then we can just buy it and then we'll have the firewood. We'll get a little bit more money there. It's not uh, the most legit way to do it, but... We'll see what happens. Maybe it won't even fill up and then we'll just keep selling it that way. But I have a feeling it will. Kind of tricky to get in here to sell. It's a good thing we got a wagon we can turn around easy with. Alright, here we go. 12,000. Looks like they're full already, too. So, we're actually gonna not be able to... Yeah, it's, it's full. 
We're not going to be able to, to um, do this how I thought we'd be able to, unfortunately. Here we go. It's got firewood in bulk. There's actually... Wow, there's a lot of places we could go to firewood in bulk. So these would obviously be the uh, output from the production. So we got 38. We got 39. 46 here. That looks like a personal delivery. I'm guessing that there's a, probably a limit on what you can sell to these people too. There's 41 transport company in height. Let's tag that and see where that is at because I'm down here. Okay, so this is the warehouse. So you can sell stuff at these warehouses as well. Interesting. Okay, yeah, the firewood's in the corner over here. So would you have to put it up on top of that rack? I suppose you could just sell it right here. Transport company, transport company in height. So uh, you might get more for putting it on the rack. You do, you get, almost get double. That's insane. So that's something to remember if we come over here. I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to buy the wood production. It's kind of weird because we don't really have much wood, but at the same time, we got a lot of wood yet to deliver. And we could be making even more money. And then maybe eventually we'll, you know, log off some more land. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I guess this is part of the journey. Let's just go ahead and purchase it. 40 grand. Yes. Hope we didn't make the wrong choice. So there's 28,000 liters of wood in there. Let's check out the production. Here we go. So yeah, we got it set to storing. I guess we'll just see how that goes. I mean, we're going to have to... We do have this trailer rented, so we're going to have to make a decision and, like... Do we return it? Do we pull the logs off here? I think that's what I'll do with these remaining ones. Unfortunately... We gotta do what we gotta do sometimes. Yeah, then we could just bring the skid steer over. Looks like the pallets will come right here. It'd be interesting to see a different production anyway. It's kind of unique to this map. Actually, it is unique to this map. I don't think there's really any other... I guess I shouldn't say that. There's so many maps. I would have no idea if there's another map that has firewood like that. So I think what we'll do is we'll just drop the trailer here for now. And we got some little bit of field work to do. We're probably going to go ahead and do that. And we'll see where the firewood is at. And we may have to either return that wagon or just keep dumping it on the ground. <laughs> Look at all this firewood we got to do. Let's get, let's get a good flyover. So we got all this here, all this here, all this here. And yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> and then if we ever did buy some more land the next one we'd probably buy would probably be this section over here still a good amount of, of wood if we you know did that as well so it might not be a bad investment that we did get that production it just took some money away from other things for now but we look at those prices we could actually make quite a bit yeah we got the oil seed radish down here so we just need to use our I think we don't have to lime this right yeah we're good on that so we just got to use our I guess it's a spader we bought on the previous couple episodes ago it's a little heavy for this tractor for those that joined us just joined us here but we can't put a weight on the front of this tractor we could put arms with the bag holder if you will but we're managing so I think what we'll do is go ahead and tackle this and we're gonna put in sorghum on this we have planned so I'll go ahead and fire this up tackle this and we'll see you in a few minutes
funny right there in the beginning of the starting this field, I didn't realize. Yeah, you do have to turn this on. I always thought it was kind of passive. There we go. Growth is growing here. Fertilize almost 100%, 95, 60, well, yeah, up and down. It will have to be weeded next month. We we'll probably still will do that in this episode. We're going to hop down at the wood factory and see how that's coming along. I guess we could probably do it from our menu. Uh, I think we're done with the cedar. Let's put this away. Could probably top it up here as well. There we go. Ooh, the bag's gone. So we will have to get more bags at some point. Might be good for one more year yet. Maybe two. All right, let's uh, let's take a look here. It seems to be cruising pretty good, so I think what we'll do is rest. When's the highest money for that firewood? It's going to be during the winter months, which makes sense. We're in March, so we're actually coming off. Yeah, it's going to start dipping like really hard. All right, the gardens was good, and then the chickens were good as well. So I think what we'll do is we'll advance. Nothing in the sails. This is shallow cultivator, which our 5 meter is way better than this 4 meter. Part of that horse pack, that would have been kind of cool to use too, but 140 horse, we wouldn't have been able to use it anyway. Alright, let's go ahead and advance. Alright, we're in April. Let's see how the chickens are still decent. Our firewood. Okay, it must be popping out pallets. We'll have to go check that out. The wood's going down so we can do a little bit more. Yes, look at that. Pallets of firewood. Actually got quite a bit of spawning room here yet, too. Yeah, these are going to go for, like you said, almost five grand a pot. This might not have been a bad idea to go this route. Steel grates for these. Crates. Let's sell the rest of this. There, I guess I should say put it in there. We don't sell because we own the business now. We did double dip a little bit. So what I think we're going to have to do... Hmm. How much is our rental costing us? So I still think that was the uh, tractor that we rented last month that was. So we don't have a good count on... Maybe it tells you. I mean, I guess we'll probably be alright. I can't... Ex Imagine that being that expensive. We could just, every month, I guess, sell a little bit here and there. It might get old. But we can do other things while we... Get stuff loaded up. Work on the fields. And then take a little break as we attend to this and fill it up. It's gonna be a bit of a... Run here to get everything, but... I like it when I get it all in one scoop. It can be tricky at times. Make sure we get it tight enough here. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do is get this loaded. And then we'll pop back down to the firewood production. And then we'll see how much it'll take. Alright, got another load here. We'll see how much of it will actually go into the production. I don't suspect too much. We do have some stumps we could grind too as we try to get things cleared up here. Also have those other trees we gotta get whacked down. Hopefully that firewood is not going to be too heavy for our skid steer. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Alright. Swing her around. See what happens. Well, about what? Maybe a half a load? Not quite. Yeah, it's actually going to fill up quite fast. Um... But we can't sell it until later. 
So we'll shut this off, I think. I think what we might do is just advance a little bit. Because there's really nothing else for us to do right now. Oh yeah, we got two... I forgot, almost. Good thing I just remembered. We actually have to weed our... our field yet. So, should we just leave this here? Yeah, let's just leave it here. And then we'll go weed the field. And then we'll advance, I guess, and sell some more wood. We could do some stump grinding, but maybe we should do a little bit of that. I think what we'll end up doing, I'm trying to think of like how we could reshape these fields now that we're going to have the room. I was going to say, you can't really see the weeds, but it, they are here, according to the text there. Make sure we're not running down our crop. Yeah, we're good. Excellent. Yeah, so what we could do is extend this field a little bit out in front. It would be kind of nice to have a a road alongside here by the trees. Maybe we could redo that. And this field could maybe just go a tad bit wider and longer. And then the remaining we can do like a grass field. We're going to need a fermenting silo, a rake, and we're also going to need a forge wagon to pick that up. But once we get that, we're going to be pretty much on cruise control for money. I do like the small scale fart, but we're starting to outpace that real quickly here. But we do need to get a higher horsepower tractor. I think that's going to be priority. I don't know if we'll use oilseed radish next harvest. I suppose with precision farming being off, we almost kind of have to, but... We'll see what we have time for. Alright, that's the last of it. Excellent, nice and easy. I think what we'll do is probably do some stump grinding, the near stuff here, so we could make fields if we desire to soon. I guess we can just leave this here. get a few of them. It would be nice to get, I think, the cutter for the skid steer. Like I said, I wanted to be able to try that. I think Giants released those mods. Which, for the trees that we can't use the other cutter on, it would be nice to try that. See how good it would work. We got a few trees to do around here. Excellent. One stump gone. Kind of hard to see where the rest of these are, but... I guess we can run them over after we're done so we know for sure they're gone. The weeds are a little high in areas. Yeah, originally I always wanted the first field here to be a little bit longer when we made it. But that was where the cutoff was. But now we got all this land. Quite refreshing.
Alrighty. There's so much brush in here. I think we got most of it. I'm sure we're going to run into a few stumps here and there when we start putting our fields in. Which will be quite a little ways down the road yet. Get all these logs picked up and then we got to go ahead and get these trees cut as well yet. Uh, let's see. I guess we can just leave this right here for now. We're going to need the forks at some point. So we can pick up those firewood pallets and get them sold. I think what we're going to end up doing here is advancing. But before we do that, let me show you what I found in the... Oh, there's a stump right there. So we'll get that later. Uh, what I found in the mod hub. These Michael silos right here, I think are going to do perfect for this playthrough. They have different sizes. And I think probably want a decent size so we don't have to upgrade later. I'm thinking this 12 uh, liter one here. Or the 19. Maybe we'll go with the 19. I might actually, like I said, extend that field down. We almost need to actually get a different combine here at some point. For how small the one we have is. A lot of ideas. Let's go ahead and advance though, and then we'll get the rest of that wood sold. And then I think we'll call it an episode. Got a little bit of room in there now. Chickens will have to be fed at some point. Let's run down there. Sorghum's doing good. Oats is still doing good. This area looks pretty good down here. Realistic. A little bit of weeds. Alright, how much... How many can we get off? Not quite all of them. I think we might just dump them on the ground. Looks like, what, three logs? Four, a couple small ones. How are the pallets? See, I don't know if these are going to go double wide or not. I guess we could probably tell by the... Are these 2,000 apiece? 2,000. So we'll see if another one spawns here in a little bit. Actually, we'll go ahead and fast forward right now. I'm eager to see. Alright, looks like we had another one spawn. And they go the other direction, this way. So that's good news that we don't have to keep coming down and moving them out of the way. Yeah, it's going to have this whole length here. There'll be plenty of wood. Does it say how much it's actually worth right now if we look at our... Firewood and bulk. Holy moly! Max value. That's a max price of 55. Is that what it is right now? No, we gotta wait for it to go back up. That is gonna help us so much. Man, that was probably a good investment then to go with the firewood. And we got a lot more to go yet. A lot more. Yeah, that's insane. Let's check the sales here before we call her. Ooh, I've never seen that on sale before. The Vermeer self-propelled baler. Very neat. But we won't be using it on this playthrough. Yeah, everything else is not really useful right now. Alright, so we're going to leave it there for today's episode. What I think I'm going to do is I'll at least get another load loaded here. And then we'll see what we have left. I might actually skip ahead a few months. And then, so we have that firewood processed when you guys join us again. And then we'll uh, go from there. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.